want you to do what you do best. Be unorthodox. Be lethal. Can you do that for me? We can do that, sir. Single player is based on everything that multiplayer stands for. So it's the sandbox experience, the vehicles, the weapons, and of course, the squad is back. A simple support mission, they said. It's a fake what you found. Fake, sir? A dummy. We think it's a dry run. Nothing's ever really that simple, though. Today we're you know, trying to show bits and pieces of the single player campaign for the first time, and hopefully people will be shocked with what they see. You know, what was it, why was the decision made to, to not talk about single player for so long? I think the, the original plan was to you know, show people that this is a true Battlefield game. Battlefield Bad Company 1, uh, for some people, wasn't Battlefield because they didn't see that in the marketing campaigns and they didn't see it shine through in, in the stuff we actually showed. So we just want to make sure that you know, we're still DICE and we're still masters of building Battlefield games. And to prove that, we've been showing you know, bits and pieces of the multiplayer and how that has been improved since the last time. Uh, so, you know, the heritage of Battlefield is secured with us. And then, of course, we've been building in the background. We have a huge team building a single player and making sure that that's you know, up to par with the multiplayer. Uh, and, you know, you get all the good pieces of the multiplayer features uh, in the single player as well. And what's the setting? How, how long does it take place after the original game? This is, this is some time after the original game and the squad is being put on quite boring you know, uh, operative duties in, in the north of Alaska on the borders to Russia. Uh, the, the, the war has kind of spread from Europe over to closing in on America. So the Russians are actually uh, moving into South America, closing in on the US borders, as well as moving over Alaska and closing in on the US from north. Uh, so the squad is actually uh, bumping into evidence on that the Russians are building this super weapon and they get sent off to South America to find out more about it and we kick off from there. They're building a weapon. What we know about it so far scares the shit out of us. What we don't know scares us a lot fucking more. Now, one of the things that we were lucky enough to see was uh, was the PC version today, which uh, it seems like you've you know customized and you know, built from the ground up to for the for the uh, strength of the machine. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, what PC owners can expect? In general, I would say that the PC audience will get the true PC Battlefield title. It's not a you know a quick port to just you know get a PC product out. We know that we have a heritage of PC products. We know what Battlefield stands for. So we have a full team working only on the PC version of the game. We are still making Bad Company 2, so it's still the same storyline, it's still the same you know, base maps. Uh, you have more players, of course, on the PC version. Uh, there are some, you know, a lot of rendering features that couldn't be done on the console. It takes into account all of the benefits of a PC machine, including the control input and so on and so forth. Again, we were lucky enough to see today was this implementation of uh, 3D through NVIDIA technology, which is looking great. Tell us about uh, the implementation of that and what people can expect. We've actually been working quite tightly with NVIDIA on this, and the reason why we want to implement it is, of course, that you know, 3D is really cool. There have been examples of movies that have proven this lately, um, and it actually adds to the gameplay depth of the game. You actually get more detail from the depth perspective of the 3D glasses. Uh, one of the, the big questions from PC owners will be, you know, is the, is the technology scalable, though? Can you still play it on a, a variety of machines? Yes. Uh, the, the, Again, the focus for PC is that it's scalable. So we actually have support for DX9, DX10, and of course DX11 to get the most out of your machine. If you spend money on your PC, you should get something back. You also have all the rendering, cool rendering features, scalable resolutions and aspect ratios, stuff like that. So yes, we're supporting a lot of PC-specific things. And the, the, the PC version will thankfully come out at the same time as the, as the console versions this time around. Yes, absolutely. That's also been a key for us that we, when we developed this, we wanted to be out on all platforms, so we don't have to, you know, wait another six months for a specific version. You know, we want to treat our PC audience with respect because of the, the heritage we have with the PC audience. And Battlefield: Bad Company 2 is out uh, on what platforms and when? Uh, Bad Company 2 is out on PC, 360, and PS3 on the 
4th and 5th of March this year, depending on where you are in Europe. Great stuff. Thanks for your time, Patrick.